Hi everyone, and welcome to another training video from the technology training department at the conference. In this training video, we are looking at creating a bookmark that will be placed in your bookmarks toolbar in Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox, or simply by dragging and dropping the website URL in the address bar onto your desktop, creating a shortcut. Let's begin. We are going to start off with the Microsoft Edge browser. That shortcut is right on the taskbar. If you do not have the shortcut in your taskbar, you can click to search, click the magnifying glass to search, type Microsoft Edge. Once the shortcut appears to launch the application, simply click to launch. In the address bar, we're going to bookmark the portal for Microsoft 365. The web address is portal.office.com. Press enter. Take us directly inside the portal. You may be prompted to type your email address and computer password. But in this case, it took us right inside. Directly underneath the address bar, is the area where in Microsoft Edge the favorites toolbar uh, bookmarks toolbar will be located it's currently not visible so we need to make it visible click the three dots then go to favorites here and you can also do this by clicking on the star for the favorites as well there's usually couple different ways to do things then we click the three dots again and go down to show favorites bar and we're going to left click always to bookmark this website all we have to do is right here click the lock and drag and drop that right into the favorites bar the toolbar I'm going to right click this because I don't like the way I like just a quick visual a lot of times just one word that shows me exactly what website the bookmark will direct me to so I'm going to right click the shortcut left click edit and I will just get rid of the office home just call it 365 press enter so that will bookmark right here on the left side and as you build more additional bookmarks you can move them all around position them in whatever way you prefer them to be aligned if I relaunch Microsoft Edge you see the bookmark is there so we're good to go with Edge next we'll go to Google Chrome launches in a similar fashion click the three dots Go to bookmarks, show bookmarks bar, type in the web address, just as we did with Microsoft Edge, we are going to drag and drop right onto the toolbar, right click, left click edit, name your shortcut, and we have our shortcut in Google Chrome and last but not least Mozilla Firefox one thing I will point out is let's go ahead we'll bookmark this and then I'll demonstrate dragging and dropping onto your desktop so we click the three lines we go to bookmarks and click then we go to show bookmarks toolbar and click once again we'll use the portal once that takes us to the sign in page once again drag and drop right onto the toolbar right click this one is edit bookmark we will just want to rename the name 365 bookmark is on the toolbar now if you happen to want this on your desktop 
you can simply click, drag and drop it right onto your desktop. It will create a shortcut on your desktop. And in my case, I always like a name specified a lot better than usually what's, what's given by the design. I'm going to right click, left click properties. The URL we do not want to touch because that will redirect us to a, a different page altogether. So I'm going to click the general tab right here. Sign into your account. You can see that is the wording for this default shortcut. We'll call it Microsoft 365. And you will want to note that when I double click this, it will prompt you. Normally by default, it will pick up, if you use Google Chrome, it will pick up and detect your default browser and it will show the icon associated with your default web browser on your computer. In this case, we use Firefox and it is now asking which browser we are wanting to use to open. We'll go ahead and we'll say Microsoft Edge. Okay, that takes us right there. Let's close out, double click again. And it did remember associated that shortcut with our default browser. So I should complete that the next time we attempt to launch from our desktop. Well, that completes this training for creating a bookmark that's placed in your web browser as well as your desktop computer. Hope that's helped out some. Hope that will take some time save you some time out of your day simply being able to click as well as a lot of times we go to websites that we need to go back to at a further or later later time and if we don't have that information put in say a digital notebook like OneNote etc might not be able to get back to it without having to ask someone specifically for that URL that link etc well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.